Hey baddies, it's your girl Destiny B and I'm back in Snatch, sweetie. If you like this look, stay tuned for this video as I do a get ready with me. And we're going to be talking all about the service industry and the hot takes that everyone seems to have and much more. If you're new here, I am a licensed cosmetologist that loves to talk about hair care. I travel the world to show you guys the world <laughs> and i am taking things up a notch on this channel this year to include mindfulness because i think that is very important especially during these times and within my community so if you are into any of that be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my socials destiny b on tiktok and instagram it's been a while guys, but let's get into this video. <laughs> Beauties when you just got out the shower. Hair still dripping, wrapped up in a towel. Beauties when you're ready in an hour. Them long legs, I call them the twin towers. You put that little bit testing, testing. Uh, uh. It's a new year, y'all. <laughs> It's a baddie. Get straight into it. I am trying a new method, which is the IG, well, the Fashion Nova Model Method or IG Model Method that I've learned from, I forgot her name, but she does her makeup. I'll find the TikTok and I'll insert it here. I've been using it for a while. I really like it. I have a few hot topics that we're gonna be talking about routine is actually completely different from my last get ready with me even my products and I know for a while we weren't doing makeup so for a long time I stopped doing makeup and then I would go on trips and I would buy makeup so altogether I just have new makeup but I'm so happy to see you all here happy new year let's get into it oh my gosh and I still managed to forget something. Y'all, please give me a second. This will be the last time. Okay, so I'm back, you guys. And actually, oh, don't be looking rude. And actually, there is something that I'm going to try with you guys that I've never tried before. And I'll tell you when we get there because I might change my mind. I might change my mind. Because what I, what I have been doing has been eating. Okay, I am not necessarily going to um, say whatever product is. I can list it. I'll actually, like, I guess I'll, I'll list it or whatever. I'll put it in the bio. Whatever, you can always ask me and you're going to get it. So, don't ever think that you can't just ask a question, baby. I just wanna do, do a get, get ready with me. And maybe I will get started on that. So at first, this is something new that I'm doing on my eyebrows. It's a brow freeze. Last time I did a get ready with me, brow freezes weren't a thing. We were using gel. So, I used to use Anastasia, now I use e.l.f. And you know what? I'm actually going to start using Got To Be because, I don't know. And then I just put some translucent powder on it. I love my brows like this. This is my vibe. I actually feel like you guys are kind of far, so let's come a little closer, shall we? How are you guys feeling that? I can't wait to get into these topics too. A lighter shade and just pat it in. It's pretty light. That's okay. Beyond that, I think it's time. This has been a hot topic all of 2022. Well, it's just been a thing since, you know, inflation or whatever. And for a long time, I've written down 
that I wanted to speak on this. And I'm a hairstylist if you don't know. Hi. It's me on my beauty page, Beauty by DCB. So I am a service provider in New York City, the most expensive city in the world right now. Clap it up. They're fucking miserable out here, okay? So with that being said, our service fees, our living fees, all of these things are on another level, okay? Uh, what they said, more money, more problems. Yeah, y'all felt the song, but y'all didn't really hear him. And you know what? Back then, I get it. You're, I am an eyebrow first girl. That is one thing that stayed the same with me because hell no. So that's what we're gonna get into. Let me just do this and then I'll, I'll get into it. Just trying to do this so fast. You're probably like, why does she still do her eyebrows? She has eyebrows. And I have eyebrows and I'll still get these monks tattooed. Because it's just crazy. Okay, so yeah, so I always see tweets even though another video for another day, reasons why I'm leaving Twitter behind, but Twitter, there's always something controversial being spoken about, especially within the black community, within politics, within anything, honestly. I don't know when it became like this, like people are just weird on Twitter sometimes like there's some cool things sometimes and other times it's just like what are we doing here what are we really doing i've been seeing tweets and even instagram posts speaking on service providers and their prices and a lot of people are complaining that you know the price has gone up a lot of people are complaining that the price has gone up and then there's the other side where a lot of people are complaining about the work that they're getting that they're receiving and then you ask them how much they pay for it and we understand so i i really just want people to think about those things like you guys get on the internet and you start complaining and you think somebody is like agreeing with you no people are not agreeing with you girl if you're gonna be cheap on your hair if you're gonna be cheap on your makeup if you're gonna be cheap if you're just gonna be cheap don't you know play silly games win silly prizes and act surprised like come on we are absolutely too grow for that if you're like younger and you're figuring this out and you're just joining the bad wagon because you see like uh like no these people are talking about different things like when you see like celebrities tweet about that not even all of them because a lot of them like to go the cheap route too and that's another thing a lot of the things that you see online is not real it's really unreal that's how real it is really unreal and unserious so did i show you guys look i'm doing a nice look today i never did it before but i'm really 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 excited it's a deep smoky eye cat eye kind of look i don't usually play with blacks but you know what here i am Turn around okay this is gonna be really interesting because i don't know so anyways i think that it's unfair to act that way online and make it seem like all of you guys can do it at home another thing you guys and this is not even to come for a lot of people who aren't licensed right but you can't go to a nail tech who didn't go to school and then try to sue her or complain about her 
when you pay twenty dollars for a full set your toes done she's never been to school and you get an infection come on like be be so for real be so for real like don't even be for real be so fucking for real because that is just plain all wrong like now you are just being mean now you're just being mean because that was not a nice setup this looks crazy right now but y'all are just gonna have to bear with me because honestly i don't even know i don't even know i don't even know shit i'm just going giving the cat eye like shoo, 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 and hoping for the best honestly and i've seen the image like three times i think i can do it and it's gonna get done <sighs> okay that's that's number one i feel like we should take into consideration many things were you referred to this person or did you find them on your own did you source them correctly like when you're finding a service provider how are you sourcing them are you asking them questions are you familiar with the process you're asking for sometimes you guys go to a new provider for a completely different service that you've never had and you just saw somebody online get it done that was probably paid or done the job for free and you don't even know the whole process you didn't even dm the girls that's what the tag page is for when a, an artist gets tagged you can see their work outside of what they're posting if they don't have that open i do not suggest you working with them because they got something to hide um or it's like they didn't like the stuff that they were tagged in and that's fair like i personally don't like to delete things on my service page because i would like somebody to see my growth like it's not all perfect i have to start from somewhere i like when people clients can see that i've been doing this for a minute you know so i'm not gonna treat you any old ways and i'm not gonna give you any old thing like you know also you're paying for energy you don't just sit in somebody's chair give them bad energy or come in somebody's chair with bad energy or take bad energy from somebody it is an exchange of energy if you're sitting down in somebody's chair and for um artists as well if you have someone sitting in your chair and you're not giving them the right energy what like you need to act as if you're deserving of the exchange you know be polite but you guys cannot clients cannot act like like this is a robot service a lot of y'all sit at home at work on the phones not really connecting with people and then get around people and get weird and get weird and get weird it's 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 crazy it's crazy i'm trying to tell y'all i'm trying to tell y'all and it's just no way to live honestly i'm gonna go back with my concealer and make a defined line. I also need to refer to the picture because I gotta remember what shape I'm really making. Oh yeah! It's like hard to watch people that put energy into their craft be so like degraded online for a few likes, for some clout and that really affects their business whereas you could really just hit that person up and tell them like i was not really happy with that service and you know is there anything we could do about it if after that they are not compliant or even paying you any mind that's a different story that's a different story because somebody needs to hear about this you don't, you don't have a boss, so somebody needs to hear about this. People need to know. People need to know. But I want you guys to know, bad credit is more credible than good credit. Um, when it comes to referrals, 
so that'll get further and that is still attention and sometimes you bring forth more clientele to the person so it doesn't necessarily do what you may want it to if you're doing it maliciously like oh stop this girl from being a business if you're just letting people know what could happen that's one thing and sharing your experience that's one thing if you're just being nasty that's like girl girl like just do the right thing and let's let's move on let's just do the right thing and let's move on and just never book never book you could also just never book but i agree with expressing your frustrations and you know what sometimes if you don't do it somebody else will like somebody else will i've definitely been scammed before and before i could even say anything she got exposed somebody else is about to get exposed too i think she got exposed because she stopped she stopped doing makeup altogether so yeah and it, it be your faves and there are some people before they're even big like that like okay for example i went to miami for my birthday had an appointment booked before i even got there i saw her online i'm like yes and she takes a deposit or whatever the day comes i don't hear anything i'm like hello okay i have dinner at gianni's what do you mean i have a custom dress on i don't hear from you you say come to this hotel then you don't say then you say you're not even in town first of all i check your instagram you're in a different state tell me how does that work very odd seems very 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 odd but anyways so i had to just check it up luckily one of my good friends at the time she was getting her makeup done as well by somebody else um you know i was like you know what let me just go so i can get my makeup done she ate and she took me last minute and her family member did my hair and you know who that is now? She always works with Juvia's Palace, but I'm gonna put her up. She is such a sweet girl, and I will never forget that. So now when I see her getting her flowers, I understand where that comes for, where that comes from, and I always, 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 always root for her because I felt it firsthand, and some people. You know, the other girl, I think she, I don't even know what happened to her. I saw her pop up one time on Twitter and it wasn't all that great and I kept scrolling because I don't even got nothing to say. One thing about God, he do not play the money and he got a funny way. Funny way of showing up. So I don't play with people and yeah. to be a good person anyways next topic i need to just clean this up so long story short with that one is to just do your due diligence and be nice like guys service providers work hard and they do that all day and sometimes your expectations are on Amazon level and it just does not work like that. She is not gonna be overnight. People who are always booked, their prices are gonna go up because it it takes a lot out of them. Depending on where you are getting your hair done, if you think that you are struggling with your own bills, chances are everybody is trying to figure something out and make some shit shake so the more value you can add to make yourself more money is the same thing a service provider or anybody is trying to do in their field of work not everybody though because some people really just hate their jobs and that's a different story service providers do not just hate their jobs because you chose to do that service if you work in like hospitality 
that's that it gets a little tricky but even that i feel like even that i feel like it's tricky and it also depends on where you are i'm speaking as a person that is from new york city and i have to take that into perspective because we have more opportunities here so it's one thing to say hey i don't like working here i can work somewhere else if you're mad working here like if you're in new york and you're upset with working in a place and you're just complaining about it when you have thousands of other options it's, it's crazy and and on top of that as a service provider if you don't want to do it here anymore you can move to another state and be lit so it it because chances are there's just a lot of competition here but okay now now she's back okay and we're just gonna fix her up. So let's talk about the things that we want in 2023 um, for society. Besides us creating spaces where we can all just be happy and talk nice, speak wellness on each other. This is done on Jesus. Oh. Um, more uplifting. I feel like we have a lot of that now. However, the comment, the comment section is crazy. The comment section on certain things. TikTok passes the vibe check for for the most part. Yeah, I love TikTok for the comment section, but I can't really get into Instagram and Twitter. And Twitter is just like living in a comment section. It's it's not not a cool place. <laughs> it's really not right now. And I know it has to do with who you follow, but I only follow like a hundred people, so I don't even know what the, I don't even know what it is. And the thing is that. Texas Texas runs Twitter, but I, I don't even want to talk about Twitter. I want to talk about all the the consecration happening. I watched Jackie Ina's video the other day, and she was talking about like the situation where JT posted her photo, and everybody was like up and up about it, and basically being mean, um, being distasteful. Which, unfortunately, has been like a thing for darker skinned women, whether, just because. And it's a shame because a lot of the time it's insecure women underneath the comments or people who don't love their mothers, their black ass mothers. And so, with that, she mentioned that originality, creativity, it's kind of dead. And the thing with being a creator, you should be creating. Sometimes we get inspired, which what that's what that's what Instagram started as. Like I wanted Instagram before I was even allowed to have an Instagram because you could actually see how other people were living life. That was before I could even travel really. Um, and I just wanted to know what other parts of the world looked like. That's why I wanted Instagram and that's all people would do was just post like random things like random foods, random places that they're visiting, places that I didn't even know existed. Um, so I'd get inspired by that and then Pinterest came along and then you could do the same thing. You're like, oh well I want this tattoo. Like I remember being like 14, 15 and I'm like, oh. Pinterest is here and like when I get of age I'm gonna get this tattoo if you look at the I still have boards of tattoos or like room decor that I wanted when I was that age and you can fucking tell that I was that age you know what I'm saying but now it's so tricky like you can't you people kind of bully other people for being original but that has always been like that that's the thing it's always been like that that's why a lot of artists in the back in the day and even till this day they like 
it, you know, they unalive themselves because it gets freaking lonely. Not everyone supports you at one time. And this is a trick that I'm gonna try doing the model the modeling. And you know, it's not cool. She's already isolated. It seems like, like I really don't see that much of her. And she's explained why. Um, she's just not into the extras as a city girl. And I get it. She's just trying to live her, her life peacefully. She ain't got to worry about things. Like, y'all have to remember, these are normal people who had to, who, who were once in a position like many of you are. And once they get what they were working hard for, and in her case, like, go, doing doing time for just for some freedom freedom to do things that you want to do live the life that you see yourself living like i don't have to do all the extras that's not that was not a part of the plan that was not a part of the plan okay so i didn't really do my research on how i was supposed to go about blending this so all i know is that i want to go up 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 And we're just gonna see it. We're just gonna see. Cause I, like I said, I've never done this. So yeah, I want to see more originality. Even for me, I want to step out of my comfort zone. I can already see it. I want to step out of my comfort zone. You guys can hold me accountable. I will be posting two. No, I will be posting Wednesdays and Sundays. Sundays are i would like them to uh, no sundays will be for get ready with me sit downs vlogs and wednesdays we're gonna educational uh that's where i'll talk about hair or it'll be about traveling or mindfulness because i think that mindfulness for the new year is very important and it has gotten me through last year last year was a tough year for me personally um so i'm just really happy to be here and be alive i'm very grateful and with that i just want to share with my community because you guys are still rocking with me you guys still message me check in with me and love me and i love you guys too so i'm gonna do different things and be different with you guys i feel like you guys will not judge me and even if you do i don't really care I'm finally at that point where I just don't care because I'm with the life that I want and I'm going to do what I feel I have to do for that life, whatever that means. Okay. Ooh, she said what she said, ladies and gentlemen. No, literally, I have a whole new life. Like, last year was so unreal to me that I was just like, okay, what do I have to do to change my life? Well, if I want to change my life, I can't do the things that I'm doing right now. And I literally said, well, snap your fingers, do your step. You can do it all by yourself. And here I am. Here I am, you guys. I feel like I've said a lot today. But what I want to say, mainly, is that there are plenty of perspectives plenty of ways to think about things and sometimes you may have to think about things how you don't want to think about things in the name of a buggy but most times if you want what you want and you want to live the life that you desire you can think about things however you want to think about things and change your perspective like why does it have to be negative why do you have to why do you have to be negative why do you have to live a negative life you don't you don't you don't have to keep living the same way and you if you have a faith i trust in god i believe in myself i trust the universe i know the universe loved me i want this to go higher but you guys have to bear with me i think i'm doing it right 
I totally just went over the darker one, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Cause I like my everything to be higher now. Literally from the mouth on. Kinda looks crazy. She did. She didn't show me that, but everything else she did, and it was higher. So. Actually, I can't even credit her because I want her to watch this video and be like, God, I did not show you that. It wasn't like this. I decided to remix it because I wanted to try something and I will say, I will try it again, but I'm going to go higher because what she taught was going higher with your contour and everything that you do and some other things that I can show you, but this model contour she did teach me that so now that i've done it i like it but it's not high enough for me <laughs> so i just tried to move it you can see it i moved it now i moved it a little bit but now i'm gonna kind of try to reinstall it but i'm gonna do that with a bronzer and like yeah so being mindful of your thoughts and trying to take over control, whether that be social media, what what you do on it, who you surround yourself with, like that stuff is very, very, very real. Very real. And I'll get more into that. Um I will definitely get more into that. But I just wanted to have a sit down with you guys for the new year so that you guys could kind of see where my head is at. I want more creativity. I want more community. I, well, no, I don't want. I desire more creativity, more and more acceptance of creativity in the creative world. I desire more a bigger community i hope to see all of you guys grow with me and connect and actually speak to me like i want to speak to you guys i want to hear other perspectives of things i want to learn like i feel like we were put on this earth for each other like i know that i'm such a lover girl and Sometimes I feel like I had to learn the hard way that love is really all around me. It is all around me. It's not just, you don't have to get it just from one person, one place, one thing. I fell in love with one job. Um, but then it's like I'm, I'm this person that has so many other things. And I fell in love with one person and it was like, oh then you can only love this one person, but it's like, no, like. What did Kalani say, serial lover? Bitch, I am a serial lover. I get Kalani. Me and her will be best friends. Actually, somebody tell, tell Kalani, I said, hey. Actually, and don't say in a friendly way because she got a new partner. And I don't want, I don't want it to go the wrong way. Okay, I don't want it to go the wrong way. But I'm just saying, I say that to say this. Join me on this journey of becoming more mindful, becoming more creative, going after my desired life with love and carelessness. Like, I mean, I just don't care about anybody's thoughts on what I have going on. And I hope you guys don't care about anybody else's thoughts on who you desire to be the life that you desire to live as long as you're not harming anyone it's no harm in it it's no harm in it it's really no harm in it and do the love do what you gotta do with love do what you gotta do with love that's okay Okay, so you see how I did the lighter inside? Now it really gets fun. Cause this this already looks good, right? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pat some neutral tone powder in here. I'm gonna use my sponge for this. I'm gonna pat neutral tone and I'm gonna pat it in. I'm not gonna let it bake. It's not baking time yet. I'm gonna kind of put this all over ish. I'm just gonna put it all over. Right? And pat it in. Then. What I'm gonna do is take my lighter one and bake with that. So I'm gonna go here, here. I don't really put a lot, like a lot of people. I'm gonna focus on the inner corner because I need that to stay bright. Alright. And then this is getting good guys. I'm gonna take my bronzer and I am going to uh, I'm gonna take this one of my bronzer. And I'm just gonna like I didn't like what was really happening over there I'm gonna pull this back a little bit as well because I want to put the bronzer over here so that everything connects naturally I don't know I'll let you know what you're gonna do to remove the bake is use a face powder I'm going with my good old True match. Like who did that? The whole time it was you. I don't know who to slap. I don't know who to slap. The whole time it was you. I actually like that contour tactic a lot. So that's my new go-to with the blush if you are a chocolate girl you're going to love this hack you take well actually she used it on y'all see fashion over anyways so my camera my camera died and 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 i don't have another charger so i kind of went behind y'all back and finish my face but I want to put you guys onto this hack that I was so rudely interrupted with. How do you like it? <laughs> Anyways, look, look, look. You're gonna take your blush and you're gonna get your powder, your natural face powder, right? You're gonna dab into the blush. And you're gonna dab into your powder and it's like it's on but it's it looks natural it's not scary like I don't like scary blush um I'm not really scared of blush but this just looks better it just looks warmer you know like like she's genuinely happy she didn't paint all her happiness you know what I mean like so I really wanted you guys to see that. I also use something like a highlighter, but it's a blush. It is, it's a mineralized blush from MAC. And I love it. You see that? It's just a little shimmer. The combo I did today was Night Moth by MAC. I'm gonna touch it up. I'm gonna go with Sephora's Glossed. It's in the color Brave. And let me just say this. 
I love this gloss line. I got a bunch of flavors discounted. And Sephora brand is already pretty affordable. But it lasts and it's yummy. Look at that. And I look like a 90s wall. I just... And to set it, I use this. I was making a comment. I forgot what I was making a comment on, but I just hope that you guys are... You guys enter the conversation the last thing I could probably put this I'm gonna the last thing I'm gonna mention for this get ready with me is to stop coming for or trying to do reverse psychology on Miel Organics the brand let her get her coins let the Telfar effect take place and let her eat it all up okay and I will introduce whoever needs another brand for hair oil to other brands for hair oil in the next video or in the video that you've seen click the link subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching i'm sorry if this get ready with me was a little bit all over the place it literally has been so long since I've done a get ready with me. Honestly, I kept forgetting things. I, I even planned like a day before. I knew what I was going to say. And it just, I got to get used to it. I got to get back into it, get consistent. I planned it out though. So like I said, get ready with me. The vlogs of that sort will be on Sundays. And Sunday, Sundays are definitely going to be get ready with me vlog five kind of days and then we'll have a day during the week let's go with wednesday for educational pur purposes for mindfulness travel hair care things of that nature so if you like this video say hi in the comments Tell me hey because it's been so long. I want to see who's here and talk to you guys and see what you guys want to watch. I feel like the beauty community kind of is on other things. Like it's mainly on TikTok but there's nobody on long form. I want to talk about these things. And <laughs> yeah, I just have a lot of ideas and I can't wait to share them with you guys. I'm just so happy that those of you who have been here since the very beginning are still here and I'm excited to grow this channel beyond what I even imagined and I am enjoying the process so just bear with me it's going to be so delightful I have many big plans and um, thank you if you have any questions ask them in the comments I will be sure to answer them. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, Destiny B. Follow me on Instagram, Destiny B. It'll be linked in the bio. And follow me on TikTok, Destiny B. Straight up, but the rest swerve. You know it's beauty when a smile is her best curve. That's real beauty. No makeup shit. The girl you dream about and want to wake up with.